Daddy Daughter Dates. Are they inappropriate? Creepy? Uh oh, what's this gonna be? I'm starting the conversation. Here's the reason I think people are calling Daddy Daughter Dates creepy. It's the one word. Dates. <laughs> we gotta figure out a new word. Okay? Gotta do it. If you take a word that is used for romantic relationships and you apply it to a father-daughter situation, yeah, that's a little creepy. I think the creepy vibe is a question of semantics. It's alliterative, it's fun and easy to say, but uh, we gotta figure out a new word. Okay? Gotta do it. I do think that the idea of the daddy-daughter date is devastating to being a dad. Making a big deal out of daddy-daughter dates has basically trained dads to believe that they can be absent for 29 days out of the month, do one special treat day where you're out with your daughter for an hour or two, and mm, the world's gonna call you the best dad ever. You're the best dad ever. No! Dads are losing ground with this. It is not daddy winning. I refuse to hashtag that. I refuse! That is daddy shirking his responsibilities and being a single serving dad. One time use. The idea that dad is a secondary parent is reinforced by this. It does the same thing as calling a dad uh, a babysitter. We are better than that. Aren't we? There are dads that are walking around right now going, I'm the best. And really, they're single serving parents. They're doing one special thing, maybe. The rest of the normal, everyday, gritty stuff, everybody assumes that that's a job for a mom. It's not true. It's your job too, dad. It's your job too. It's my job. But I have your kids. Your kids don't know me. <laughs> when it comes to things like putting a crying baby into uh, a car seat, mom. Cleaning up the pee and the poop that might happen incidentally, mom. Feeding a baby baby food and having it get absolutely everywhere so that feeding then turns into bath time, that turns into crying time, that turns into shiver time, that turns into story time, that turns into can't go to bed time, that turns into baby will not sleep time. That's mom. But on Friday, daddy takes the baby out for a, uh, you know, cake and ice cream. You're the best dad ever. It's embarrassing. But anyway, we're gonna celebrate, we're gonna trip over ourselves to congratulate this guy. Let's, uh, you know, let's uh, set off the fireworks. Uh, let's, uh, let's cut the cake. Oh, uh, mommy, will you make a cake? <laughs> let's celebrate dad for doing one thing. Why? Because dads are useless. Right? Guys, when you accept this, when you accept daddy daughter dates, we gotta figure out a new word as a, as a great and special thing and decide that that is enough. You're shooting yourself in the foot. We're taking it right on the chin and saying, thank you, may I have another. You're the best dad ever. <laughs> he is involved if daddy is part of the game, if daddy is part of the system, if daddy is on the team, if he is doing the stuff, if he is spending the time, if he's making the lunches, cooking the dinners, changing the diapers, if he's doing all of that, and he decides that he and his daughter are gonna dress up and they're gonna go out and they're gonna have a good time, this is building upon something that is already there. Dads that are doing that, kudos. But. If you're a dad who doesn't spend the time in it and you're trying to play catch up one or two days a week, get right, man. We just hit a thousand subscribers. Thank you so, so much. If it's your first time to the channel, hit subscribe, like the video. Guys, remember, I am doing the research so you don't have to. You're welcome. I am Jason. This has been Where's Mommy. Go get to dadding. Like now.